at five, a barbershop attack. Just went straight to the back and attacked my dad, and my dad defended himself. And the barber fights back. Tonight, two people rush to the hospital following a stabbing and shooting. And tonight we are learning new details about what happened just before noon today. Family members say the co-owner of that shop was forced to fire, injuring the man who stabbed him. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital where he spoke with the victim's wife and daughter. So Peter, how is he doing? Well, the victim's daughter says Ruta Bay that he is in serious condition after being stabbed in the stomach. She says that he kept a gun for protection and never had to use it before until today when she says he was forced to fire in self-defense. The question now is why was he victimized? Pretty stunned and pretty upset, but hoping for the best. Jennifer Barraghead says she cannot believe her dad was attacked while working at the Cooperstown Barbershop. What went through my mind was, this world's a crazy place. I just really hope that nothing super crazy happened and that he turns up okay. I don't feel good. I received the, the message and I go to the to the barber show. I don't know what happened. The 45-year-old Barraghead, a father of three children who's run the barber shop for a decade, could have lost his life. From what they explained, it was like in the abdomen, like around here in the stomach. Yeah, that's what's been explained to me so far. It happened just after 11 in the morning at the Alapata Barber Shop on Northwest 22nd Avenue at 21st Street. From what I know, the, my dad was in the barber shop. He was all the way in the back washing his hands. The guy had come in. He had like a switch blade, like a razor, in his pocket when he had come in. He didn't really make any sort of communication with anyone else in there. He just went straight to the back and attacked my dad, and my dad defended himself. He got shot when he stabbed my dad. Barraghet's daughter does not know why her father was attacked. I know we believe that he was a client of my dad. Maybe something went south, but nothing is really confirmed. Police are urging witnesses to come forward. Lots of times people uh, don't know that they may have been able to witness something, and as little as it may be, it may be crucial to the investigation. How is your husband doing? He's fine. He's in a pretty serious condition, but from what the social worker is saying to me and my mom is that, like, you know, he's recovering, he's pretty conscious right now, and that we're just hoping to, like, you know, make sure that he's stable before anyone speaks to him, and then the authorities will speak to him first before we do. Miami police are trying to figure out what prompted this incident. They are not releasing any information on the man who was shot. They are looking for surveillance tape and are urging witnesses or anyone with information to call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter Danch, 